Hey y'all, welcome to my September wrap up. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. I completed all of my September TBR, which is the first time in months I've completed my complete TBR. I do have one book missing. It is found, um, book one of the missing series by Margaret Peterson Haddix. A friend of mine's daughter came over. She wanted to see my library and I told her about that book and she wanted to borrow it. So I let her borrow it. She also borrowed um, Scythe and PS PTSD Radio. I warned them and I showed them what PTSD Radio was about. She said she could handle it. So I let her borrow it. I filmed my reactions to these videos as soon as I finished them. I read this book for series September, Frederick Bachman, Us Against You. This one I gave very little context on. It's all emotional. Okay, let's get started. Retribution by Julian Hoffman. In this book, you're following CJ Townsend, who is trying to put away this guy who she finds out has a connection to her past which is a very traumatic past. You are aware of everything that's going on in, from the beginning of this book. You know what's happening. And you're trying to follow her as she's trying to put this guy in prison. But the twist at the end just threw me for a loop because you're going the whole way thinking one thing and then you get to the end and you're like, oh, that's diabolical. That's really diabolical. The Missing, book one, found by Margaret Peterson Haddix. This is a children's chapter book about a mystery. A plane shows up out of an airport, just poof, out of nowhere. On the plane are 36 babies. No adults, just babies. 13 years later, you discover the mystery of this plane. And it was so interesting that if I didn't have other books that I needed to get to, I would totally read this series. What the Dickens by Gregory Maguire. This book is about a raging storm that is going on outside and a 20 year old man taking care of his younger cousins because there's a medical emergency and their parents have to go away. He doesn't know what to do. They're running out of food. The, they're flooding all around them. Bridges, streets, roads, hills are being taken down because of this storm. So he sits them down and starts telling them about an orphaned tooth fairy. For the first two days of this orphaned tooth fairy's life, he has to figure things out on his own. And then he runs into another one of his kind and he gets introduced into the tooth fairy world, which is Everybody calls him a rogue tooth fairy only because he doesn't know. And this story was so good and endearing. I loved it. The Adventures of Amina Asharafi by Shannon Chakraborty. This book was a book that I never intended to read. I didn't have it on my TBR. I didn't have it on my want to read. I had no desire to read this book. When other YouTubers talked about it or reviewed it, I didn't skip ahead like I do with other books I want to read. So I knew about, well, not about, I knew a little bit about this book going into it. I am so glad for book clubs because it gets you out of your comfort zone. I read this for book club that I totally missed because I got the date wrong. Anyway, different story. <laughs> Amina's adventures in these books are so heart poundingly exciting. I couldn't stop reading. The process of retrieving her boat had me at the edge of my seat. I tell you guys, this book was so good. Am I going to complete the series and read the other books? Probably not. Am I glad that I read this book? Definitely am. Thank you, book club. The Necrophiliac by Gabrielle Whitcup. This book was disgusting, vomitous, vile and splendidly written. I enjoyed this book. It's a diary of a necrophiliac's um, particular sex life. 
and adventures. Bless you, baby. And what does it say about me that I'm gonna give this book a five star? I haven't finished Dune yet, but I already know I'm gonna give this a two star. <laughs> I hate that you have to end it that way. <laughs> this right here, this is what sports is supposed to be about, not politics. Dune by Frank Herbert. I read this book with my husband and MJ at Reading This Life. I'm going to let y'all know honestly, I didn't understand this book and I really didn't enjoy it. Book one was extremely difficult for me to get through. MJ suggested I watch the movie, but I didn't have time. And my husband sent me a wiki link a Dune wiki link that helped me a little bit understand book one. I, from what I'm understanding, they're mining spice, spice is life, spice is everything, spice is in everything, which causes conflict and war. Kind of sounds like oil and gas, but anyway. Um, in book two, Paul and his mother get absorbed into a tribe of people and they teach each other their ways, which I really enjoyed book two. And in book three, Paul takes his rightful place in the mining of spice. That is the simplest and basic way I can explain these books because honestly, I didn't understand them. And I'm not ashamed to say it. If I'm gonna cry in a video, I'm gonna let y'all know that I didn't get it. I don't know why this is a cult classic, Mm -hmm. I don't know. The Girl from the Well by Rin Shapeko. If you've ever watched a Japanese horror movie, this book is it. It's all the hair melting out of mirrors and coming out of closet doors. And it is horrifyingly scary. I loved this book. It is narrated by a ghost and she gets intrigued by a boy after 300 years. So she starts following this boy. And it is a fight between a white ghost and a black ghost and who will win the boy's soul. It is so scary and so good. I loved it. I know this video is long and I wanna thank you for watching. Okay, bye.